Marcella Moon has found the culprits. Here they are. They're, they're, they're planning on framing someone. They kidnapped someone, and they're planning on framing him for their misdeeds. Uh, they blew up the bridge, sort of to cover their tracks. Now they're framing someone to cover their tracks. I don't know who they kidnapped. It, it could be Steve. Steve has been missing for quite some time. You know, his disappearance would match with the culprit's timeline. Hmm. Yeah, nasty illegal business. Oh, uh-oh. Oh no! What was that? Hey, I heard the squeaky score, the squeaky floorboard in there. Uh-oh. Marcella, run! Okay, so Marcella made some noise, and now the culprits are chasing after her. She runs into Roy's place. Roy's not here. She needs a place to hide. Well, here, with the animals. That's where we're gonna hide. I thought you went in here, but I don't see anyone. Keep looking for the girl. Roy must be coming down. What do we do with them? Wait and see how he acts. He may not suspect anything. If he makes trouble, we'll have to take care of him. What in law? Oh, it's you from earlier today. I don't mind visitors, but I do prefer a knock. Do you normally call at all hours of the evening? Uh, hello again. Uh, I just stopped by to continue our lovely conversation from earlier. Well, take off your shoes and stay a while. I'm not one to turn away company. Can I get you a cup of chamomile tea? Yeah, we'll take two. Just play along. It won't be much longer now. Why can't we pull the job and get out? Because the car won't be waiting for us. Everything's got to move on schedule. Let's just head back to the base. What about the girl? Fine. You steal the boat from here, leave when the time's right. Until then, you make sure no one leaves this house. I'm gonna head out. I need to pick out the dynamite. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I uh, really must be off. Thank you for your hospitality. Leaving already? Unfortunately, yes. But see you next time. I need to let Roy know I'm here without alerting the saboteur. So Roy is in the other room with a saboteur number two. Suspect number two. So how are we going to get his attention? Well, we're going to use this pen here. Write a note. Help me. Then I believe we turn around. And we're going to put that note. So here's the note. We put the note here in this little hole. Someone took the bottle. Now listen here, buddy. I got your weapon, so you'd better get in the corner. What? How did you... No funny business, I mean it. Hey, you can come out now. I got him. Okay, Roy got the culprit. Who is the culprit? Who is suspect number two? Ugh! <gasps> Wilbur! So you're one of the saboteurs. Just let me go. I ain't done nothing to you. Not a chance. I've seen your moonshine operation. I know you have, Steve Ottman. I'm going to the police. It's two against one, and I've got your weapon. You'd better cooperate. Ah, shucks. I'm plum calm. Who's the other person with you? Who's your co-conspirator? Well, that's Charles Whistler, leader of the Red River Runners. That's the gang that's been causing trouble all up and down this river. Never heard of them before. Okay, so there's a gang that's been causing trouble the entire time. Why haven't we heard about this? Why has nobody accused the gang of being the culprits until now? If, if it's known they've been causing trouble in this area. Ah! Okay. Well, it looks like our friend Wilbur was sort of the reluctant culprit. And Charles was the boss of the operation. So you're helping them smuggle moonshine? Yeah, I know. It was a bad idea. But work ain't easy to come by in this town. So you were the watch guard when somebody dynamited the bridge. I bet you let that person get away. Was it Charles Wessler? Yeah, that was him. He blew up the bridge. Did your gang crash a boat into the Riverview Star? Yeah, we didn't want so many people coming for the Summer Gumbo Festival. Right when we were trying to make our big escape. The people came anyway. So you set fire to the stage. Yeah, I got most people to go home. Listen, you've done well to admit your involvement with the saboteurs. I guess... You ain't gonna stop him from getting away now, though. It's too late. Shoot, what time is it? 
It's 11... Oh, it's 1, 11 a.m. Oh no, Wesler said he'd blow up the bridge at 11... At 1.15 a.m. I can't let that happen, but I'll never make it to the bridge on time. So what we have to do is radio for help. Maybe I can get a message to the Coast Guard. Their station's up the river. They might still be able to intercept Wessler before he reaches the bridge. Does the radio work? It might, but you're going to have to figure out how to power it on yourself. I got my hands full over here. Okay, I need to get all the buttons to turn green. The final puzzle of the game. Ooh, that looked good. Turning all the buttons green. Got it! Did it! Woohoo! I need to report an emergency. Man, planning to dynamite the bridge in three minutes! Hello? Hello? What was that sound? What was that? The bridge, it's been dynamited! No, that was gunfire! The Coast Guard boat's gone into action! Coast Guard here, we received your message and intercepted the saboteur. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Charles Wessler and his gang were intercepted at the 7th Street Bridge and tried for their crimes. The moonshine operation was shut down immediately. Wilbur confessed everything to the police. With his help, the police were able to track down the rest of the gang members. Wilbur's really sorry for his involvement with the sabotage, and he's eager to make up for the damage he's done. Although Angela was disappointed in the outcome of this year's Summer Gumbo Festival, she's keeping a positive outlook and is hopeful for next year. She says that in some small way, she's flattered she was bringing enough new business to Red River Landing to become the focal point of Wessler's sabotage. Stephen had been trying to track down the saboteurs on his own, and unfortunately he got it over his head when he met up with Charles Wessler at the Yellow Bayou Lounge. Thankfully, things turned out fine for him. He was found at the distillery unharmed, and the police ended up clearing him of all charges. Sarah was relieved for the whole thing to be over. Working with the police, she was able to track down every single one of her boats. Although she was angry that her brother got himself into such trouble, more than anything, she was just glad he was home safe. I kind of wish that this ending scene, instead of just being a blank screen, we had a picture of every single character. You know, like on this screen when we're talking about Lavinia. Have a picture of Lavinia! That would be a nice way to spice things up uh, at the ending. Lavinia admitted she was wrong to print the new story about Stephen Ottman. She promised to be more careful in the future about releasing a story without enough information. Although she's still angry at the Ottmans for what happened to her father, she, Sarah, and Stephen are in the process of talking through their anger together. I made sure everybody knew what a hero Roy was. Without his help, I never would have been able to stop Wessler and his gang. While some people are still annoyed with him for throwing bottles into the swamp, I think others have softened up and realized what a unique and important part of the community and we got a bunch of awards here. Hooray, so Soundmaster, you played around with the sound box. Noted, you learned why Lavinia hates the Ottmans. Hustler, we learned about Wilbur's side hustle. What was that? What was his side hustle? Working with the culprits? Because I don't think you could do that. I mean, I don't think you could beat the game without learning that information. And Sneaky, I'm good at doing a stakeout. I did not get all 17 frogs. Oh no! I did not get a high score on the mosquito thing. I was pretty terrible at that minigame. Hipster, you knew about the Red River Runners before it was cool. Yeah, you knew about the gang before it was cool. Well, apparently there is a way to learn about the gang ahead of time. I did not do that. I think you can learn about the gang by asking the newspaper person about the gang rather than asking about the other gang, which was stealing camps. And then Alibi Master, you found out Steven's alibi. I don't I don't know how you do that. What is Steven's alibi? I, I have no idea what his alibi is. Huh. Well, in any case, that is the end of Marcella Moon, Saboteurs on the River. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video walkthrough. I did a video walkthrough for the first Marcella Moon game. I think it's Secret on the Hill. So if you really like this game, check out my uh, walkthrough for uh, the first game too. Uh, and you can buy these games. Yeah, if you really like the games, make sure to buy them from our independent developer. I believe it's only one person. She made this entire game herself. So good, good for her. Okay, that's it. Marcella Moon, Saboteurs on the River.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, oh, there are credits. So here are the credits. Uh, basically a bunch of uh, copyright-free songs. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, those copyright-free songs. And then uh, a few people. I think these people were testers. I believe they tested the game. Okay. So that's, that's officially it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.